Okay, so the next game we're going to learn is the Q&A game. Now, this is a game that's going to work verbal memory, verbal attention. This is an area that a lot of people have trouble with. So let me show you how you stimulate verbal attention and verbal memory. Now, to play this game, you're going to need a partner. So Miley has volunteered to be our guinea pig. I'm going to be reading information to her. Now, to play this game, you're going to need a copy of the book, okay? Because in here, there's lots of brain games. And the Q&A game is in here. And I'm going to read straight out of the book. So what's going to happen is I'm going to read a couple of sentences to Miley. And she has to remember what I said because I'm going to ask her a question and she has to answer it correctly. That's going to require her to pay attention and it's going to require her to remember what was said to her. Now, the book starts, it's got different levels in here. Dr. Crane made these games for brain injured people. So it starts at low levels. I'm gonna start at kind of an easy level so you can see how it works. These are the two statements I want you to remember, okay? Joe likes blue, Gary likes green. What color does Joe like? Blue. What color does Gary like? Green. Who likes green? Gary. Who likes blue? Joe. Okay, so she was able to remember the two sentence or two element level two um, portion fairly easy. Okay, so we're going to do one more at the level two. And uh, Miley's not going to answer as quickly so that uh, you at home can try to see how you do. All right, so here are the two sentences. Karen is a teacher. Daniel goes to work. What does Karen do? Karen is a teacher. That's right. What does Daniel do? Daniel goes to work. Who goes to work? Daniel. Who is the teacher? Karen is the teacher. Very good. So, you know, two, level two is easy for some people. Some of you, that if you've had a head injury or if you've lost some brain cells, if you're struggling with two, don't go any higher, work on two. Okay, so the next one is going to have three sentences and this is called level three. Now, this would be a little bit tougher than level two, but we're gonna give it a go and see how you do. So here are the sentences. Bob likes cars, Roy likes sports, Roger likes girls. So, what does Bob like? Bob likes cars. Yes, he does. What does Roger like? Roger likes girls. <laughs> yes, he does. And what does Roy like? Roy likes sports. Very good, yes. Now, who likes cars? Bob likes cars. And who likes girls? Roger likes girls. And who likes sports? <laughs> so it happens to everybody. The answer is Roy. So Miley's on camera, she's a little nervous, she usually gets these. <laughs> but if you don't get it, don't get upset, you just do another one. So let's try another one. Karen likes roses. Grace likes violets. Nancy likes orchids. What does Nancy like? Nancy likes orchids. Orchids, very good. What does Karen like? Karen likes roses. That's right, Karen likes roses. What does Grace like? Grace likes violets. That's right, so Grace likes violets. 
Who likes orchids? Nancy likes orchids. That's correct. Who likes violets? Grace likes violets. And who likes roses? Karen likes roses. Very good. Okay. So that's level three. Should we try level four? We're going <laughs> to... Now, how did you do on level three? If you're struggling at level three, don't go any higher. Stay on level three and practice at that level. If level three is hard, just go back down to level two. You want to find your baseline. But let's have fun with Miley. Let's try level four. <laughs> we'll do one so you can see how it feels. Now, to have a little bit of fun with Miley here, we're going to try level four. Level four has four sentences and what's considered eight elements. This one's challenging. See how you do as we go along. So, Chris can swim. Wendy can sing. Lynn can cook. And Joyce can sew. What can Joyce do? Joyce can sew. Very good. What can Lynn do? Lynn can cook. What can Chris do? Chris can swim. What can Wendy do? Wendy can sing. Very good. Who can sew? Joyce. Who can sing? Wendy can sing. Who can cook? Lynn. Who can swim? Chris. Very good. You got them all. She was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, the higher you get, the more challenging it is. And that's why you start at your baseline, whether it's two lines, three lines, four lines. You can work your way all the way up to five lines, six lines, whatever you want to do. And that is the Q&A game.